hey guys welcome to this video and in this video as you can see over here i want to start talking about the power bi so power bi is basically an offering from microsoft to compete with other vendors like the tableau and clickview so if you have been a regular watcher of my uh, videos on youtube you must have seen that i have talked a lot about the tableau and clickview and clicksense and this offering from the microsoft is basically to compete with these modern age business intelligence tool which provides stunning powerful visualizations and uh, their the development time is also pretty less now before power bi i believe uh, microsoft has been recommending the ssrs is uh, one of its go to tool for developing the reports as well as other uh, tools of that ecosystem which was basically their business intelligence ecosystem and along with SSRS you had uh, SSAS uh, uh, I think analytical services and SSIS which was integration services for the cleaning and managing the data. Now with this offering what I what I have seen that they have done is combine most of those offering into one single tool where in this tool you can basically import clean and make the data in a way which is useful for your uh, visualization and as you can see over here very stunning visualization options has been given which are readily available or out of the box available that you can click and directly go ahead and see it not only this uh, power bi has given uh, i think few months or quarters back they have given the extensibility to even to uh, r and python or i believe it i think it is right from the start because it got launched sometime in the 2016 or 2015 when i started reading about it in 2016 and developed a good interest but then i moved ahead because uh, my organization did not pick this up but now it has started gaining the momentum again after the recent gartner report so this recent Gartner report which Microsoft has published on its website where Microsoft has given as a leader and I strongly believe that uh, in the earlier years it was follow it was the Tableau who was leading this space but this year Microsoft because it did a lot of enhancement into the Power BI there is a lot of adoption which is coming on the Power BI side from the various companies which have been using the Power BI uh, it had got this um, uh, leading position within the uh, within this Gartner tool and uh, this they are now as using obviously as a you know marketing thing to basically say that we are now leading this space and leaving the tab view behind so this power bi the question which comes into any beginner's mind is uh, how can we get it so on this website which is powerbi.microsoft.com you can actually click over here which is start free once you click over here you have two options one is uh, getting started with power bi desktop so you can download the desktop version if you are not interested or let's say you are using your organization laptop and it does not allow you to install it what you can do is you can uh, you can create an account on the cloud power bi cloud so that you don't have to install and make any configuration but simply go ahead and click on the try free option where you can sign up for the power bi and uh, get uh, basically the power bi power into the cloud without doing any sort of installation once you basically download it the installation option is like any other simple software where you basically need to accept the agreement and uh, click on next 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 and uh, you will install it i believe uh, this power bi is only available for the windows system though if you are using other systems like uh, mac or uh, you know some other operating system which does not uh, which it does not allow to install you have the option to use the cloud version which I, which you can sign up from this the only problem i i have seen is it asks you to provide your work email address to basically start up with the uh, cloud version so whenever you are cloud version just make sure you are not using your organizational data because uh, it's not secure the free version is not secured once your organization is getting up getting the uh, the power bi for cloud within the organization which is managed from or within the organization itself then you should uh, 
you should have no worry to basically upload anything which is using your organization data. So word of caution if you are using cloud uh, from the Microsoft and the desktop with desktop you get all the power everything is available no need to worry about internet connection and I think uh, as I said installation is like any other st standard installation when I installed it it took me like five minutes and I'm using pretty old version so if I just click over here which is basically a Power BI icon you see that this is how basically Power BI um, start it basically initialize its model take like a couple of second and uh, if my Power BI is not updated ask me to update the Power BI as I'm using as I said I'm using pretty old you have the options where you can look at the recently op uh, opened op applications and then you can directly get a data from here you have the sources information which you have recently accessed also uh, give you the option to sign in if you are using the server if you are having the access to the server you can sign in over here you have uh, the links for any new update which is available power bi blog for latest news and resources forums where you can go and ask questions related to the power bi and finally the tutorials and all that you can access directly from the power bi so once you have it this is uh, basically your basic interface uh, which you will see is very similar to your uh, to your excel or uh, Microsoft Word which you have used having the ribbon at the top and basically having the options like home and modeling right now over here but in Excel you have seen like a lot of different types which are available and you can basically do a lot of things uh, based on the options that are available over here on the left hand side you have the options where you can produce the report interface you can go into the data interface and the modeling interface on the right hand side you have the different visualizations that are available and then the different operations like the filters and the fields related uh, option field that you import the data the fields that are available from it it's basically it will show you that information so in my upcoming video i will show you a lot of things about about that and i hope you will find it useful so this is pretty much it in this video in the next video what we'll do is uh, go through some of its feature by looking at the pre-built dashboard to look to get a look and feel of uh, what Power BI uh, can do when your dashboard is ready and that will be more from the perspective of the business user or as, or as an analyst user who needs to consume what Power BI developer has created. So let's uh, dive in into the next video. So I hope uh, this is more of an informative video about uh, what is power bi um, and uh, how to get it and as i said next video will be more about going in depth so stay tuned for that